Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. We are continuing to play Detroit Become Human and let's jump straight in. And when we left off last time we were with Connor in the police station and we had just convinced Hank that we really should go and investigate another android problem as Hank has just been made lead on the case which he is very unhappy about because well we've discovered he doesn't feel very fondly about androids. And so here we are, we are actually back with Kara by the looks of it. We are in the motel. Alice is trusted. Or should I say she trusts me? And this is going... I don't know, to involve getting across the other side of town, I guess. Let Alice rest. Along with something else. Let's stand up. He's awake. That failed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. Hmm. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Are you hungry? You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? What do you okay. say? Ooh! I'll run you a bath. She feels like she's family. Go and run Alice a bath then. And see if there's anything else trying to <laughs> pop up. I mean, I feel like with all this technology, you should kind of just be able to say, like, bath, 36 degrees. And it makes you a, uh, a beautiful bath of 36 degrees. Oh, looks like we're getting a haircut. They'll never know it's us. Then we have to get rid of that uh, that lovely glowy light. Blonde, white, black finish. We'll go white. Sure, finish. And nobody will ever know it's us. It's rather useful, eh? Been able to change your hair color on demand. And let's remove the little chip. Ooh, that looked like it may have stung a little bit. Watch over Alice. You're pretty like that. Aw, oh, shucks. You really look like a human now. Your bath's ready. Yeah. Off you go. Let's read about Detroit today. Cyber wildlife. What's the other story about? Canada. Still android free zone. States voting in its Android Act as early as twenty twenty eight. The Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country. No, no androids allowed in Canada. What am I actually doing? Alice is bathing? Wait for Alice, okay. It's 10.28. Draw the curtains. <laughs> Quick sneaky peek outside. 
Now, of course, the biggest question is, what are we watching today? I don't know, but it doesn't look... Oh, whoops. I've interrupted the film. How could I? It doesn't look like... That uh, power cord they just put in the ship worked. What are they going to do? Anyway, let's... Uh... Oh, no, we can't hurry her along. Maybe there is something else I'm supposed to be doing. Doors most definitely locked. Ah, perhaps I can... Here you go. Change the channel, this is what I want. Oh, good old marathon on the, the go. The victim's name was Todd Williams, <gasps> an unemployed man from no. According yeah. to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. Oh. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. Public opinion of androids is not good. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's nice of her to say so. We nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Can't stay here, family, contact, android. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Whatever we do, we'll do it together. Uh, moving, determined, comforting, supportive. Supportive! It's us against the world, Alice. Just the two of us. We have to learn to trust each other. Just the two of us. I only have you, and you only have me. And I'm going to do everything I can to make you happy again. Oh, even more opinion with Alice. That's what we like to see. She already thinks I'm part of the family. But if we can get above that. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Get breakfast. Oh. Don't get breakfast. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. We're looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Oh, no. Thank you. Search motor room 20. Oh, you look at that. I've changed to Connor. You wait in the car. Diplomatic. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. you want to see the end of your mission? <laughs> Stop busting my fucking balls. Oh, Hank hates me a little bit more. That's unfortunate. I mean, I am actually trying to win him over, believe it or not. I just, uh, clearly, I'm not doing a very good job. Come on, Hank. Up the stairs you go. Get your drunken self upstairs. Twenty nine, twenty eight. <laughs> Optimal temp, whatever that is. Oh, he's got the gun. <sighs> 
It's gone. Nice. Time to get out of here. Okay. Okay, yep, get away from that guy. Any threats up here? No, doesn't look like it. Keep walking, keep walking. I so thought I was done for then. I mean, 99%. <laughs> that is pretty... Pretty gnarly. It's uh, across the road away from those cops. Perfectly timed. Uh... Okay, yeah, let's come back across this way then. There's a cop there too. Holy fuck, that's them. Damn hey, it. stop! Police! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. I kind of don't want to catch them, though. I mean, if I'm perfectly honest... Catch Deviant Android. They're over there! I mean, I don't really want to. I'm gonna go really slow and let them escape if I'm perfectly honest. Because... Oh, fuck. That's insane. <laughs> Because I do know and I do remember that Kara's story can actually end right at the beginning. It's the only story that can actually end, I believe. Whereas all the rest just kind of keep going. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role yeah, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, here our analysis story continues. I really do hopeful. I want to see all of it, but uh, I guess we'll find out as we go forward. Right now, we're back with Marcus, who uh, still looks like he's having a rough day. then I guess I'm looking for that okay interesting one that Android only. Oh! I didn't realize that. I was just going to take the stairs because. Yes, humans don't take the stairs. Get yours today. Oh. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <gasps> you apologize to me. But that looks like the next one in front of us. There's the symbol. Uh-huh. 
two symbols for the price of one. Okay. We've got... Okay, we're... I am actually trying to go on a front line, straight line, folks. I, uh, I do promise you that. being updated. Okay, we're looking for uh, a couple of robots through a wire fence. I'm going to go around the corner to the left. Oh, oh, we have a wire fence here and we have a couple of robots. Uh, let's get to here. One. Two. Question is, oh, there it is, right there. No, I got that one. Ah, right there. Oh, but you can't quite see it. Yeah, nobody cares, mate. You're a human, you can do what you want. I need to clear, I need to clear that piece of wood. So that I can, uh, scan that symbol. And my next clue. Okay. Big face on the side of a building. Right there. Find a way to reach the roof. Oh. Can we not push this? Oh, I'm a bit stuck. Up we go. We've got that symbol. of them. Ah, there's one. Nicely hidden in there. Now, where's the last one? Ah, there. In white, hiding into the background. Something about sparkles. That doesn't look fun. Oh, so what's he going to ask me to do now? Would be too unstable. Execute! Nice! Oh, and there's Sparkle. I can see one, two, three symbols. Hopefully that's all I need. Probably have to get a little bit closer than this. One. Two and three. There he is. Couldn't actually see him, to be honest. 
not when it went all blurry. I need to get inside the building. Reconstruct. Go that way. Go up there. We either have that option. I'm going to go for the one on the left. Would be too high. Compute. Success. Execute. Nice. This is a nice bit of fun. I imagine at some point I'm going to have to do this probably to time pressure. Yeah, looks, looks at the world he just conquered. What does the next graffiti look like again? Uh, okay, it's inside a building, there's destroyed walls. Oh, it might even be behind me. Uh, I believe it. Uh, ooh, sneaky. I have to get just the right angle. Okay, another destroyed thing. Some wooden beams. like we may have arrived at Jericho. A giant old, I don't know, shipping container maybe? Well, that's not going to help anybody, is it? ourselves across. So a lovely useful crane over there. Over yonder in the distance. <laughs> Walks up like he's got all the time in the world. Freaks a bit. seem dodgy at all. Down we go! Wow! Didn't even compute it first. Straight in there. Oh, lost the coat. It's a dead end, so let's go this way. Nice. Uh, 
And we are in a creepy abandoned ship. I mean, nope, there's no stairs going further down. Let's uh, see what's behind door number two. Oh, nothing. Oh, we have uh, a few different ways to go here. Behind door number three. Detroit today, Android on the run. And in other news, Android astronauts to explore Io. Well. I'm somewhat stuck. That's better. Wait, no, no, back up, back up. <laughs> Dead end. So, hello! Like I said, and here we are in this creepy, creepy ship. Ho ho ho! And this is not a horror game, folks. This is not a horror game. So they claim. No, no, come up, Marcus, through the door. Through the door. You can do it. Wait. Yeah. Guys, I don't know what to tell you, folks. Oh. Hey, and I'm through. That's a bit of uh, interesting controls there. Creaking. Yeah, away. That's gonna hurt. Jericho. Hmm. Welcome to Jericho. And we did miss a couple of things. Uh, a little standalone one there and a little standalone one there. Who only knows what they would have been. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to leave the episode there. That is all we have time for today on Detroit Become Human. And so until we see you again, it just leaves me to say, I hope that you can stay safe, happy, and healthy.